next one. Which plant hormone can be used to stimulate a dwarf plant to grow to normal height? Yes, Wula. Oxen. No. Who rang next? Okay, go ahead, uh, Aka. Giberlins. Yes. Next one. Why is a food web more stable than a food chain? All right, so the food web is more stable because every organism has an alternative source of energy. Next set, first question, 10 seconds. Find the mode of the numbers, six, three, seven, six, two, one, eight, two. Yes, Wula. Six. That's incorrect. Who rang next? Who rang next? Okay, Aka. Six and two. Next one. 30 seconds. Find X if three consecutive terms of a linear sequence are X plus one. 2x plus 1, x plus 5. Your son. x equals 3 over 2. That's incorrect. Who rang next? Yes, answer bell. x is minus 3. No. <laughs> yes, uh, Aka. x is 3. No. X is two. No, it's working. When someone else has it down, they are pressing down on it, yours will not ring. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Next one, 10 seconds. How many vertices has a cuboid? Yes, which of you are also up here? Eight vertices. Eight. <laughs> Next set, 30 seconds each. The thermal conductivity of steel is 50.2 watt per meter Kelvin. Find the rate of transfer of thermal energy through an insulated steel rod of length 20.0 centimeters and cross-sectional area 4.00 centimeters squared, whose ends are in thermal contact with heat baths at 80.0 degrees Celsius and 30.0 degrees Celsius. Which of you answer bell? It will be 50, it will be 50.2 times 10 to the power negative one watts. Yes. But, 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 answer bell, you're not going to get all that easily. How do you do it properly, scientific notation? 5.02. Or normal, how do you say this properly? 5.02 watts. Yes, why? All right. Next one. A vehicle travels 25.0 kilometers 
at 60.0 kilometer per hour. Another 25.0 kilometers at 40.0 kilometer per hour. And yet another at 25.0 kilometers at 36.0 kilometer per hour without stopping. What is the average speed of the vehicle? Yes, also up here. Madam, the average speed is 30. That's incorrect. The right answer is 43.2 kilometers per hour. Next one. The electron Compton wavelength is 2.43 picometers. Find the wavelength of radiation scattered at a scattering angle of 90 degrees in a Compton scattering experiment conducted with photons of wavelength. Hey. All right, go ahead. Yosun. 2.43 picometers. No. I continue reading for the benefit of the others. Conducted with photons of wavelength, 93.57 picometers. Yes, Ansabel. You'll be 96.0 picometers. Yes. Next one. A 2.0 decimeter cube flask is filled with nitrogen gas at 27 degrees Celsius until the pressure is 40.0 kilopascal. Calculate the total pressure after 0 0.640 grams of oxygen has been added to the flask and give your answer to two places of decimal. You may assume the gas constant R to be equal to 8.31 kilopascal decimeter cube per mole Kelvin, or this is equivalent to joule per mole Kelvin, and atomic mass of oxygen is 16.0. Yes, which of you, please? Aka? 64.9 kilopascals. Again? 64.9 kilopascals. That's incorrect. <laughs> ah, Aka, I asked for two places of decimal. Mm? The right answer is 64.93 kilopascal. Next one, 30 seconds. A metal X reacts with excess acid to give hydrogen gas according to the following equation. Solid X plus 2H plus going to X2 plus plus H2 gas. Calculate the atomic mass of the metal if 1.00 gram of it reacts with excess acid to give 400 centimeter cubed of H2 gas at 27 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascal. Please give your answer to one place of decimal. R is still 8.31 kilopascal decimeter cube per mole Kelvin.
which of you also appear? 56.0 grams per mole. That's incorrect. <laughs> which of you? Which of you, please? Your son. 120.0 gram per mole. Mm, no. <laughs> the right answer is 62.3. Last one. 10 seconds. Give one, only one condition under which the ideal gas equation. Yes, so swap here. Under very high pressures. Okay, carry on. High temperatures. <laughs> okay, I continue reading for your benefit. Under which the ideal gas equation is no longer obeyed and state the reason. Ah, if you had waited. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at high pressures, the volume of the gaseous molecules is no longer negligible. Or you could have told me at high pressures or low volume. Then here you have uh, intermolecular attractive forces which tend to reduce the actual pressure. And then at low temperatures, the gases have either condensed to liquids or their volumes are small and the gaseous particles experience intermolecular forces. That's the end of the second round. Don't turn over until I ask you to turn over, and don't begin until I ask you to. of the second round, KNUSD Senior High School has 11 points. <laughs> Presbyterian Boys Senior High School has 11 points. <laughs> Infant Supreme School has 31 points. Round three. This round has the problem of the day. The problem of the day is a single question to all three schools. From the time I ask you to begin, you have three minutes in which to compose a response to the problem of the day. 
The problem of the day is worth 10 points. Pardon? Notepad. You too. You too. Notepad for everyone. and read the problem of the day together. Problem of the day. How do plants regulate the turgor pressure in their cells? That's the problem of the day. You may now begin. writing and present your answers. <laughs> 